me forward, that's the way it is. I'm your host, BC. Today we're going to talk about an article I read about sexting. And I'm going to tell you what, it is mind-boggling what people will allow their kids to do. Now, if you don't know what this is, what it is is where people are talking uh, via text uh, in sexual content, and a lot of times they're sending naked pictures of themselves to their boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, whoever they are talking to. Alright, the thing of it is, once this picture leaves your child's phone, excuse me, and goes to the person they're talking to, it belongs to that person now. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Now, that is sad to say, it's legal for them to do that. That's why it's very important to know what your kids are doing. Alright, now, once that other person gets that picture, and if they send it out to friends, and guess what? That is a criminal offense. That is punishable by, by law. There's a, you know what? They've not even come to a conclusion on what they're, what they're going to do with that yet because right now there's a case over in uh, Canada where a young girl has got her boyfriend's phone and found pictures of his ex-girlfriend and found out that he was still talking to her. You know, they had, they had some kind of a friendship. They, uh, she sent out uh, pictures of her and basically was talking junk. Now, she said it was uh, cyberbullying, but uh, the law didn't look at it like that. They said that she was uh, basically, because uh, the girl's under 17, well, girl 17, excuse me, or under, that she was uh, posted, she was, it was a child pornography. So she is, she is waiting for her sentence in the court. They've already determined that this is what it is. So she just waiting for her day in court. So it went from bullying to basically child trafficking in, in a sense. Because, you know, it's not necessarily the person, but it's, you're putting out uh, pornography. You're putting out pornography out there. So it, it's crazy. Now the thing of it is, now here's something that gets me. There are phone companies out there that has programs for your child. Now what I'm saying is, you take like this one, if your child sends out a text, you would get a copy of the text. So you would know exactly what your child is saying. Why people don't do that, I don't know. You know, I would do that in a heartbeat. You know, you need to jump on that bandwagon. That way you know what your child's saying. Now you ain't got to tell your child what, what you've done. See what, see what your kid's doing. You know, and yeah, that day you may look at that as sneaky or whatever, but I'm going to tell you what, if you're trying to be your child's friend, then you you got something, you got, you got a rude awakening coming. Because you got to be a parent. Because that's what you're there for. You're there to be a parent. You're called a parent. You ain't called my best friend. You're not ever going to be your child's best friend. You're going to be friends because you're a parent, but you're not going to be what they call their best friend. Not for a long time, even if you are. Anyway, and there's there's also programs out there that has filters of what your child will send. Just like uh, there's filters on the computer of what your child can see. You know, I've seen these programs, and you know, one of them will have block. Even on advertisements, it will have block if it's something your child cannot see. Now, why people don't do this to protect their child's mind, I have no idea. I mean, it's crazy what we will allow our kids to, you know, basically put in their mind. So, it, it is, it's utterly ridiculous. You know, so basically what I'm saying is, you know, in order to protect your child, sometimes you got to do things that, you know, you may think is wrong. I don't think it's wrong because you're paying that phone bill. I, if you're the kids paying that phone bill, you know, if they're 18 or older, hey, more power to them. But, you know, there's an old saying, and I've heard it when I was growing up, and you know what, you don't hear it that much anymore. You're living under my roof, you're living under my roof. When you are grown and on your own, then you will be under your roof. I'm going to tell you what, my parents didn't care if you were 40, 50, 60, you were living under their roof, guess what? It's going to be their rule, and you need to follow their rules. Well, I would like to uh, thank you for joining me. I'd like for you to get the word out there so, you know, we can let parents know some of these programs that's going on. And I'd like for you to uh, 
uh, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the video, share the video, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me, and remember to follow your heart. You can't go wrong there.